What's up guys, my name is Technobo and welcome back to my channel. So as you probably can tell, I've got a pretty amazing microphone setup. The only shortfall of it is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo Generation 2, because there is a major issue that happens inexplicably on Windows, probably also Mac and stuff like that, after maybe anywhere between an hour to even longer of just having the microphone plugged in, whether you're using it or not. This is simply solved by unplugging it and plugging it back in usually. Sometimes that doesn't work and it requires a complete restart of your PC. And that issue is that there's either a lot of static that happens in the background inexplicably. Uh, that's definitely not caused by any sort of electrical interference or something like a fan in your room or a PC fan. And uh, the other thing is that sometimes your microphone will start to distort and or sound robot-y like you're auto-tuned or like you have really bad cell phone signal. And that is something to do with the Windows buffer and the audio buffer, because with a really high quality mic, you need a really high quality performance from your computer. And even though my computer is seriously good and a lot of other people's are the same, no matter how good your PC is, the Windows buffer is flawed in some way or another that causes these issues to happen. So usually that buffer is flushed and or cleared, by restarting your PC or just replugging in your microphone. And unfortunately, there is no way of solving this, though there are ways to prevent it and solve it quicker than restarting your PC and or unplugging and plugging in your microphone setup, because that will often cause applications like games and recording software to crash inexplicably or just not record anything until you restart them because the audio hardware has changed. So first of all, there's one solution to this, and that is the temporary solution that you just need to run every time it happens. Unfortunately, there's no way of you hearing it. Uh, for me, especially if I go into the recording mixer down here and I go to my focus right, right click properties, uh, advanced, what's it, levels, listen, listen, I tick that button and I can hear myself. Then sometimes I'll hear it there, sometimes not, sometimes only my friends in Discord and TeamSpeak, etc, etc. Whenever someone tells you that your microphone's flipping out, then you can either go ahead and unplug it, replug it in, which can cause issues, or go ahead and save this into a batch file, which is a .bat file. Right-click, run as administrator anytime you're having these issues. Basically, it stops the audio server for Windows and the endpoint builder, and then restarts them. So it's not going to do anything suspicious to your PC, it just restarts your audio drivers on your PC. So it's basically the same as either restarting your PC and or unplugging and plugging in your Focusrite again. Next is updating the Focusrite Scarlet Solo drivers. Uh, I know they mentioned an issue with it, though even though I had updated, it seemed to happen less often, though it still does happen, which is really sad. And it's something that might drive me to buying a completely different audio DAC, because this one is not the best. Then, of course, you have the less um, preferable solution to it, which is lowering the sample rate and raising the buffer size. Basically what happens is that the Windows buffer overflows, i.e. it's putting in too much data and not enough is coming out. This is caused by a solid constant stream coming in from the Focusrite Scarlet Solo and Windows putting out slightly less or maybe the Scarlet Solo pushes in a bunch more data and it's not handled. I don't know and I really wish that Windows could solve this issue with the Windows audio buffer. But you can go ahead and raise this and lower the quality here. I know it's not perfect but it's maybe the only solution that we have until there's an official update to this. And last but not least, one of the things that I've found out is you should really have a USB 2.0 device plugged into a USB 2.0 port. Trust me, do not plug it into a USB 3.0 port because in my experience that's introduced even more noise on top of this horrible bug that yes, does still happen when I have it plugged into a USB 3.0 port. I currently have it going through the shortest cable possible, which is the one that comes with it to my PC. I've tried different cables, but I'm still getting the same issue no matter what cable I use. Unfortunately, no matter how much shielding and stuff I try to do from the electrical interference and magnets and stuff, as far as I can tell, it's some sort of software issue with either the drivers from Focusrite or Windows. Anyway, it's pretty sad that the Focusrite Scarlet Solo and possibly other Focusrite DAC products have this issue, but uh, it's just something that we're going to have to live with if you have this kind of hardware. I'm thinking about getting another audio DAC to get the sound from my microphone into my PC and sound from my PC to my headphones, though 
Of course, as we know, with good audio hardware comes a lot of money. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Technobo. Don't forget to drop a like in this video. Share it with other people if they're having this kind of issue. I know it's not the simplest solution to it, though the sound fix on bat has been the easiest and quickest way for me to solve it without having to unplug and plug in my hardware, which, as you can know, repeatedly doing that can either damage the plug in your Focusrite Scarlet Solo and or the cable, and that's not specifically preferred. This is a lot quicker, a lot easier. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Techno, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.